Well, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we are gonna be doing 10 Dollar Tree Valentine's Day themed craft projects. I have so many fun ideas to share with this holiday season coming up. All right, now let's get crafting. Everything for this project is from the Dollar Tree except for this little wagon, but you definitely could DIY this with some of their little wooden crates. But I found this little wagon in the Dollar Plus section. We are going to take some foam first, and I'm putting hot glue on the sides and adding this Spanish moss to the sides because you can see the wagon has these little slits in it. We don't want to see that foam and that's going to help conceal it on the sides. Once I have some on the sides, I'm now going to go ahead and come in with more of the glue and the Spanish moss to cover it up. This project is so quick and it is just so adorable. I love fast projects like this because you feel like you're crafting without spending a lot of time on projects. This is great for anyone who's a new crafter or wants to craft with their kids. Once you've got your Spanish moss all over the top of that, go ahead and take these darling glitter hearts that are on stakes from the Dollar Tree, cut them down to different heights and just poke them right down into that foam creating a darling little heart display. It only took you about 10 minutes to make. If you didn't know, I'm actually over on Instagram too. Over this last year when I took a break here on my channel, I was still posting on Instagram and a lot of you were able to go over and ask how I was doing, what was going on, if I was still coming back. So if you're interested, I'm gonna link my account, but basically it's just my name, Heidi Sambel. It's a really fun space where I share day-to-day -day clips of what's going on in my home and in my craft room. This project is so fun to make. I'm gonna take this Christmas stand decor piece, I'm gonna twist off that metal star, I did use my pliers to loosen up the first twist and then after that it came off really easy. And then I am going to take some hot glue and these candy conversation hearts. Now I did buy this jumbo bag of these on Amazon a while back and I'm always picking at them and using them for projects. But I will tell you that you can end up, you know, just purchasing these at a regular store. You can get a couple bags of them. But I ended up getting a really good deal just buying it in a big old bulk bag like this. But it's kind of funny. My kids constantly keep wanting to come down and eat these. And I'm like, guys, these are like a year old. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start by going around the first row of my cone triangle shape. Once I've got that in there and they all fit nice, you're going to notice it is going to start getting skinnier and skinnier. And eventually you're going to have one or two less hearts as you get up to the top around your rings. When you get to the very top, at this point, you can decorate it however you want, but I decided to do three bows. I thought the three bows were so beautiful with all of their ribbons coming down. Once I had all of my bows in place, I wanted to finish off the very, very top, so I added on a little wood nub at the very top. I just picked these little pieces up from Hobby Lobby in their wood craft section, Pop that on the top, and I just think it looks adorable. This is so cute to put on a shelf for Valentine's Day. I found these wooden hearts at the Dollar Plus section of the Dollar Tree. They're $3 each, and I also had this wood stair rail on hand. I'm first going to figure out how tall I want the bottom two trays to be apart and cut those down with my miter box. Then I'm going to figure out with this extra piece how tall I want the top of the stand to be for 
the tiered tray we're going to be making. So I'm just measuring how tall I want it to be and I'm going to cut that down as well. Now I will say if you have a saw, I would definitely recommend doing that instead of the miter box, but I love my miter box because sometimes I don't want to go out to the garage to cut everything on the big machine. So I did that first and now I'm drilling some holes. Two holes in the middle of the bottom of the heart boxes and then I'm going to drill some holes on both sides of our stair railing that we cut down these two pieces and this is so that we can make it stronger. I am not a fan of just putting wood glue and hot glue without having some kind of a joint in the middle of all of these. So you can see here what I'm going to do next. I'm going to start at the very bottom of my first heart and I'm using these cute spindles from ribbon or twine or thread. I actually buy these at Hobby Lobby in their wood section. And I'm adding on some hot glue and some wood glue because I like how both of them work together. And then I'm going to add in a shish kebab stick. This is going to be the thing that we're going to be threading everything through and it's going to make it so much stronger because it's going to be able to help everything bind. So once I've got that first one in the middle, I'm going to come back in on the bottom and I'm going to add four more of these little spools and I'm going to just put them so that they're the supportive legs on the bottom of the tray. Now I cut down my shish kebab stick and I added on more of that same glue pattern, hot glue and wood glue, and I came on with my stair railing. Got that glued in place, then I went to the next spot. Now I'm going at the top of that stair railing. So now I'm going to just put in my next stick, follow the same glue process, and now I'm going to put on the top. This sounds complicated, but it really is so simple. It is incredible how much they charge for these trays when you can make them for pennies. I mean, well, a couple bucks, because the two trays are $6 together, and then you add on the stair railing, which I had on hand, and a couple of these little wood pieces, so maybe like eight bucks at the most. I would say that it cost me to make this, and if you tried to buy something like this at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's, these are easily 30 to 50 bucks. So I'm going to make mine for about seven, eight bucks. Now I'm just coming in with my paint, and I painted the inside of the trays a solid white and the spindle white, but on the outsides I wanted to keep them looking more rustic farmhouse, so I kind of did a chunky brush across wanting to still see that wood coming through so it's got that rustic farmhouse. And then now I'm just coming in with some distressing paint which is a very dark brown and I'm very lightly brushing it on. And after that it's ready to be used however you would like and it is the cutest tear tray. We're going to start with taking this decor piece that has a nice base on it so we don't have to worry about building that. And then we're going to take this Hello Love Valentine sign and we're going to combine them together. You could always build this base and I have built many of these bases before in the past here on my videos, but I loved showing this particular project because it's so fast. Sometimes you might not like the look of a decor piece at the Dollar Tree and all you have to do is make sure you have a nice base on something and you can mount on a completely different look by adding a different sign. So you can see here that I took off the bow and now all I'm simply doing is adding some greenery up at the top, some florals, some leaves, a darling little bow and you've got yourself a brand new holiday sign. We are going to be taking two of these long wood pieces from the craft section at the Dollar Tree, some of these hearts, and then I know so many of us have tons of these boxes 
after this last couple years with all the DIYs everyone was doing with them. If you have them left over, this is a great project for you. So we're going to take four of these and we're going to glue those opening cutouts to each other so that you don't see them. And then we're going to glue two more together so that on the outside of this box you only see the nice wood pieces that are not cut out. Now we're going to take those longer rectangle pieces and we are going to go ahead and glue that onto the front and the other side so that you don't see all those joints in there. Now I'm going to take some of my wood putty and I'm going to just fill in those holes. And given you could technically skip this rectangle piece, but I wanted to make it look more high end that it was one continuous wood box. So at this point, after that wood putty had dried, I sanded it, I painted it, and I added in some foam squares inside the box for some florals in a minute. Now on the front, I'm going to take some of these hearts, do a wood stain and glue them on. And you can see here, this obviously has a Valentine's Day theme, but it's not a hit you over the head theme. This has a very spring theme where it has just hearts on it. And this is what I'm saying about these types of projects. You definitely can get the look without it being too themey. This project is so simple. <laughs> We're gonna take some of this red ribbon from the Dollar Tree, the heart formed frame. We're going to take that ribbon and we're gonna simply just wrap it around all the way from the top back up to the other side again. And the reason why we're doing this is just so that we give our pom pom something to hold on to. Now you could do just one specific color but I thought it looked like cute little candy drops all over this by putting all these different colors of pink and then the white. Make sure you pack them in really tight. That gives it a higher quality look and it really just looks so adorable hanging up on any door in your home. For this project, we're going to be using two of these tile stickers. We're going to be using one of these wood Valentine's Day signs. I ended up showing these hearts, but I didn't use the little hearts. And I'm only going to use one of the large hearts. Start by tracing your wooden sign onto the tiles. And remember, these tiles, their sticker sheets on the back, when you cut them, they actually come apart because they're only bound on the edges of the tile. So that's okay. So you can see I just pulled off the backing on it because I actually prefer to hot glue these on. They hold so much better. Once they're on, go ahead and paint the background of the tag sign that you would like, the color you want. And then we're going to go ahead and take the heart and I'm going to do a pretty wood stain on it with just using paint and water. And now I'm going to come in with that same paint and I'm going to lightly dry brush on the tile. Make sure you use very little paint on that. And then to make the heart stand out a little bit, I added some white around the heart's edges just to give it more of that rustic farmhouse look. Again, this is supposed to look very neutral, more spring versus being super intense with the bright colors of Valentine's Day. This might be more your jam. I don't know. Give it a try. Add a couple bows to finish it off and it's ready to be displayed. So I have been asked by a couple people if I actually celebrate Valentine's Day, and I do. And here is the reason why. There's actually two. The first one is, is my dad's birthday is actually on Valentine's Day. So it was one of those holidays in our home that we celebrated in conjunction to my dad's birthday. The second reason why I actually really love Valentine's Day, back when I was a kid, it was always about like, you know, Cupid, finding your love and your romance. As an adult, I have changed my opinion on Valentine's Day with the meaning of it. 
I like to think of it as the love day. Our wonderful, kind, and gracious Savior taught us to love one another. That it is one of the greatest gifts that we can give each other. And so, with that being said, I love to use Valentine's Day as a day that I focus on the people that I love most. The Savior was so wise when he taught us to love one another. So, for this coming Valentine's Day, maybe you don't want to celebrate the Cupid and the romantic side of it, which I think is totally fine. But I would like to encourage all of you that are watching it today to take a little time to send a little love note to people that matter to you and your life. This next project is so easy. I found this wooden box with a frame on it for $5 at the dollar plus section at the Dollar Tree. And then I printed out a picture. I know a lot of people struggle with Valentine's Day too because you just don't know what to give people. <laughs> so this, when I saw this box, I thought, oh, this would be such a sweet gift to give someone. So what I'm going to do for mine is I'm going to stain the bottom of the box and paint the top of the frame white. And then I'm going to put a picture in it of my kids. And this is such a great gift to give a spouse, a husband, or a grandparent. All you do is you cut out and put that picture in and fill it with some chocolates, or you can fill it with some keepsakes and some memory things, or it can become a memory box for them to put things that their kids give them inside of it, which is just such a fun memory box to have without having a bunch of unnecessarily holiday clutter around. I found this wood piece in the dollar plus section. It was $3. I've spent a lot of time building things like this and I figured, you know what, let's do a real quick one with this. So I'm first gonna put on just a rough, kind of a almost sloppy white paint. I wanna get that farmhouse look without it looking completely polished and painted white everywhere. And then now I created a shape of hearts, added some hot glue, lined it up, flipped it over and glued on the hearts. This was the quickest way to do the heart pom-pom versus trying to hand put each one on. This took me seconds to do. Now I'm gonna add some glue and some burlap ribbon at the back to change the direction of hanging it up. And then I'm gonna add a bow using that same ribbon. And the last thing to finish it up, I'm just gonna add a simple little white button right in the middle, how adorable. For this DIY craft, we are going to be using some of these wooden hearts, a wooden plaque. I had this leftover metal heart from a couple years ago. I've just been holding on to it. One of these plastic tiles and then some scrapbook paper. Pick out the paper color you want. I'm going to be going with a pink and a white because again, I'm doing a lot of pink and whites for this video. I want to show you that you can do colors that are so neutral without it being too intense for your home. So I'm going to just trace the first heart. All three of my hearts are going to be different. So the first one's going to have some scrapbook paper, this cute pattern on it. It's very farmhouse. You can see that when I trace it on the back side, there is overhang because these hearts are beveled and get smaller towards the front. So what I like to do is I like to get the initial shape by tracing the back then I glue it on and then I rough it up with my scissors and I actually like how the paper looks. For the tiles, I would recommend flipping the heart down so that bevel side is down, the smaller part, tracing as best you can around it and then cut that out and make some adjustments if it's hanging over a little too much. I did the same for the wood base, the plaque that we're gonna be putting all the hearts into and then I glued those on. This is gonna allow it to have such pretty texture. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill three holes into that plaque. You can see that they're in different positions because we're going to be putting 
wooden dowels into these. I added some wood glue first to make sure it's going to bind in there nice and well. And then I'm going to use hot glue to create the support around it so it stays in and it doesn't pop out. Now I'm going to bring in the paint. The heart that I didn't put anything on, that one is going to get some paint. The front of the heart is a solid white covered paint and then the sides I'm keeping it more raw, more chunky as I'm painting it. I want to see the wood coming through and I did that on the other two hearts as well except for the paper one I obviously didn't paint the front. Now I'm working on the base. I went ahead and painted that as well and the heart that didn't have anything on except for paint, that's where that metal heart is going to go. I know that we have lots of these little types of scraps when we're doing these DIYs and I honestly just hang on to the ones that I really like the most like these metal hearts. By the way, beware hot gluing those metal hearts down. The heat does transfer through. It can burn your hand. Now we're going to come back in with a really dark brown color and I'm going to dry brush meaning taking almost all the paint off so it's, there's very little on the brush and we're going to lightly brush along the surface of those tiles which will bring forth that texture and that pattern. Now at this point we're going to be able to glue on our hearts. Decide which ones you want where with your patterns and your textures and you can see that I'm just zigzagging the glue back and forth so that it has a nice hold onto those wooden hearts. Once that glue is dry flip it over add on a cute bow twine I think this makes it look so farmhouse and just adorable. And then once you've got that on, I always like to finish my backside, so I flipped it over and gave the back of the heart and the bottom of my cute decor piece some paint. We are going to be using this upholstery binding burlap ribbon, some red fabric, and some twine. Start by cutting out about five inches of this ribbon, and then once you've got five inches, go ahead and cut a dovetail at the bottom. This is such a quick and fast and high impact decor piece. You can hang it anywhere in your home. I love banners personally. I think they're so beautiful if you put them at the top of a hutch and you put them in front of cabinets or in a fireplace. You can even put them above your front door. I think that they are just so pretty to hang up for any holiday. So you can see once I've gotten them all cut out, I'm now going to take some fabric, some cute little red hearts that I cut by just folding fabric in half and cutting that shape. And now I'm going to just take my time gluing it down. You can see that I glued down one side of the heart first, pulled it over, and glued down the other side. That's so you just don't burn your fingers trying to move around that little heart. It's kind of a funny shape. Now I'm going to take some twine. I'm going to fold the end in half and do a simple loop knot. And this is so we have something nice to be able to hang it up with on a nail somewhere in your home. And then now I'm going to take that ribbon. And I'm calling this ribbon, I know it's called something else, but I'm just going to call it ribbon because <laughs> it looks like a ribbon at this point. I'm going to add some zigzag glue back and forth so that way it binds really well on here. Now you can pick this ribbon up at many different craft stores like Joann's and Hobby Lobby. They do have some stuff like that. If you have any upholstery stores around you, I'm going to link the one that I found from Amazon down below. I that's where I got mine. Once you're done putting that glue on, clip it with some clips to make sure it bonds nicely together. And then you're going to just keep working all the way down the line. I did about 10 on mine. And then once I got to the very end, I did another knot. And my last one, I came back in over that knot to conceal the look. And at this point, you can hang it up anywhere in your home. It is so adorable, such high impact and has such a vintage farmhouse look to it.
This project is going to look complicated, but it is so fast and so easy as well. We are going to take three of these very fun and festive hearts, something I wouldn't normally work with here on my channel, but I just, I had this idea, and then three of these wooden hearts. Start by painting the hearts white. Once you've got those all covered up with white, you're then going to take some of the stickers or vinyl, whatever you have on hand, to create love, hug, kiss. We're going to be making a conversation heart wall door decor piece. And I say wall or door because it just depends on where you want to hang it up. But if you want to hang it up outside, I highly recommend covering your stickers with some Mod Podge. I would also recommend using the matte Mod Podge because it'll have a nice clean finish versus it being too glossy. Then once those are dry, take some hot glue on the back side. You're going to see that there is a smaller heart on that plastic wreath form. Add a bunch of glue, line up your word kiss inside of that space, love, hug, Line them all up, and don't worry if there's a little bit of overhang. I had that on mine too, but we're going to cover that up with ribbons and stuff. Now we're going to come into the back. Make sure your hearts are straight using some of these stir sticks, these paint stir sticks, and glue it all together. You can secure it if you want to put a staple gun through. Just make sure the staple doesn't go through the front side of your heart, but I'm going to just use hot glue. Now I'm going to come in with some bows. I'm going to put those right where I put the joints with my painter sticks and you can just see that I was zhuzhing around that bow until I got it the way I wanted it to look and now we're going to come in with some of these darling hearts on a stick and I'm going to pop off three of the hearts those are going to go in the middle of my bow once I've got those all done and glued in place then we're going to just start embellishing it however we want. This piece is such an impact piece and it's just so fun to put on a door somewhere, your front door, maybe on your pantry door, whatever it might be. Add on some greenery to make it have more of that spring Valentine's look and then to cover up those painter sticks because that's kind of not pretty, we're going to take some ribbon and we are going to cut down that ribbon so that we can have a nice polished finished look on the back. And after that, I just added in a couple of leaves to make it look more full and green and you've got yourself the cutest thing to hang up on your door. I hope you felt inspired by this video today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me every time you do. And if you're not getting notified for my videos, check your notifications and make sure you go back into my gallery and maybe watch one or two videos. That stimulates the algorithm and lets it know that you're interested in my content and that is going to wake up your algorithm for your channel recommendations. All right, and until the next episode, Bye, friends.